see why we're here and where it's come from and, and actually it makes us grateful to who's put us back to work and at the same time we're earning a paycheck which we all want to do but we're also doing something that is beneficial to our community to our livelihood without this stimulus money right now I would not have known how big the wheat problem is in Valley County so it is very beneficial that we have this money to bring the people on to go after the weeds but a lot too is the mapping and surveying to see what we've got where it's at so far it's very beneficial it's uh, nothing else it's making um, some of the private landowners and the public aware of the, the problem of noxious weeds we have in Valley County. Most of the people wasn't aware of what they problems they have until you know we go out survey it and then show them some of the impact this is causing on their private property. Treating of noxious weeds is good in, in several ways. One, you can help reduce future fire problems with noxious weeds. Uh, you also, uh, some noxious weeds put off toxins in the ground which doesn't allow other natural vegetation to grow or if it is growing it will die off and now it becomes a fire problem also. But it also, noxious weeds in farming areas can reduce crop yields and that so it can be an economic problem also. They're very thankful. And it's education. Most of the people weren't aware that how invasive. They didn't realize what these were. And now that the education is being put out there, they're really appreciative that we're taking care of the noxious weeds. Well, I think there's two real advantages from it. Of course, the one, the effort that's made with the stimulus funds to provide employment, uh, you know, to, to resolve some of the financial burdens with uh, the financial crisis that, they, that the country is going through, but it also gives us an opportunity to focus on some real needs that we have out here. And invasive species are a real, real need and a real threat. And as a country, we need to focus on the opportunities, every opportunity that we have to address that threat. They were out of work. I put them to work. This is how this will help them out. It's just been a, a great blessing to me to, to get on this job and it's not just it's not just not just a job, not just work, it's you know it's it's a lot more than that to me. Um, it's really exciting being out here and learning so much. I had just been laid off. Um, I was twenty years in the same industry. Um, invested, worked for a newspaper company and with the way the economy it's not too many people read the paper anymore and they did a lot of layoffs and so for the last two years it's been work here, layoff, part-time, seasonal and that's hard. I'm, uh, I've raised seven children pretty much on my own. I was unemployed for about a year and a half. I was doing uh, construction work for Tamarack uh, and when they went out of business or when they closed down the whole area just pretty much shut down because construction was the biggest part of the industry around here. So since then I've been looking for all kinds of work and done all kinds of work, but this was the first full-time position I was able to get and I was glad to have it. If we let invasive species go, it has a much more uh, detrimental effect over the long term and that is it changes the ecology of an area so drastically that the nature of the country changes with it. And that in itself affects the economy of the areas that, we're, that we deal with. It affects both the economy and the natural settings that we love so much to see. Uh, the whole ecology of an area can change. Uh, fire ecology changes on the sites. The uh, native plants are lost out of the sites. Wildlife effects on wildlife. Bird species, small mammals, all change in, asso in association with those invasive species coming in. And, uh, and we lose a lot of the native species out of the area because of, of the invasive species that come in that, that we have to deal with. So it has a long-lasting effect on future generations that we need to deal with today. Say, I'm back to work. I'm doing something. I'm helping. I feel I'm making a difference because of this program.